Hi, my name's Mark Radley, I'm the Managing Director of Radley's and today I'd like to briefly show you the Carousel 12 Plus. The Carousel is a parallel synthesizer. It's designed to heat and stir, reflux with inert gas, 12 tubes up to 20 ml simultaneously, thereby helping the productivity of your chemistry. Let's start at the beginning. Here we have a standard stirring hot plate. These are manufactured for Radley's uh, by Heidolf. The difference between these and Heidolf, other than the lovely orange colour, is the top plate, which is 135 millimetres. The standard Heidolf hot plates have a top plate that's 145. The carousel, unfortunately, will not fit on 145, which is why Heidolf manufacture these specially for us. There's a range of three hot plates. This particular one is the Tech. The hot plates come with an optional carousel fuzzy logic temperature controller which is an essential tool when using the carousel. The fuzzy logic clips onto this support here which is supplied with it. This allows room for the carousel to fit on top and for the probe to be slightly to one side. It uses a PT1000 temperature probe which you can place into the solution or into the block. So let's show you the carousel. The carousel has been around for 10 years and was developed by chem medicinal chemists at GSK. Here's the base. The base has 12 positions. Um, the base is the part of the device which is heated and the base is covered with a fluoropolymer coating which gives it chemical resistance. This is very similar to that which you'd find in a frying pan but much harder. And the base is also manufactured from solid aluminium which is ideal for transferring the heat. One of the changes of the Carousel Plus is that we've introduced these insulating plates. These insulating plates offer two features basically. One is that they insulate the base and therefore improve its heating. It requires 36% less energy to heat this base compared to the old base. Also it reduces the temperature of the base externally by 50% which prevents accidental burns. These are made from solid PTFE. I'll slide them together. Not the easiest thing to do when you're on camera, but that went okay. And then I can pick this up and place it on here. So let's show you the principle behind the carousel. We'll take one of the tubes. This is a borosilicate glass tube. Nominally one inch, I think it's 24 millimeters to be precise. We have a PTFE cap. These are chemically resistant and they're gas tight. You put the cap on, just a simple quarter turn, that easy on cap is so easy and so simple. We have a PTFE valve, this is in the open position, this is in the closed position. Here is a scepter that can be removed, it's a silicon scepter, you can pierce it with a standard syringe to make additions or withdrawals from the tube. Traditionally, a customer or a scientist would use a stirring bar and a tube like that. Optimum position for stirring. However, what the chemist at GSK discovered was that not here, but here also gave you excellent stirring. So we have even stirring all the way around this periphery. That is part of the carousel's unique patent. Also, we have even heating because we're equidistant from the centre of the block. So, if we take the base, we place the base on top, you'll notice that the base has a little locating hole here and one for the temperature probe. This allows me to locate the head in the right position. Place that on top. Lift up what we call the reflux head and I can see the pin just there and I can gently lower that down. And you can hear there that we have all position stirring. I can turn the system round. If I want to remove it, I have my stand, I can lift it off away from the heat instantly and place it on top of the stand. That's a feature that wasn't included in the old carousel and has certainly proved extremely popular. So we'll place the unit back on. So, first of all, if I turn the unit up here, you will see that here we have a central gas inlet. The idea of this is that you can connect this to a gas supply of inert gas, say argon or nitrogen and we can feed a blanket of inert gas into the reactors. It goes in here, there's a central chamber, and it comes out at each of these outlets here. 
These are stainless steel, chemically resistant, with Viton O-rings on them. If you place a tube, and you can see, they just simply push on and connect in place, and you have a gas-tight inert seal. By connecting to a stopcock with a vacuum supply and with an inert gas supply, you can pull a vacuum, flood with gas, pull a vacuum, flood with gas. Do that three times and you'll purge the tube. You then leave it on a slight positive pressure, one or two psi, and that ensures a constant blanket of inert gas, particularly suitable for cold reactions. This is of course a reflux head. These connectors connect onto hosing to a water supply. Typically we would recommend between 5 and 10 degrees. The cooling water comes in, moves round the channel in the head, and then departs, providing even cooling to each of the 12 positions, making this the perfect condenser. And indeed, that is what the reflux head is. It is a condenser, replacing the need for 12 separate condensers. I'll place this back in here. Now, then we have the temperature probe. The temperature probe can either go in through a hole in the top into the base, which is controlled by the block temperature, or we can put it through one of the scepter and controlled by solution temperature. Round this side here, we can see we have one of our reduced volume tubes. In there, there is an insert, a removable insert. You can have one in each 12 positions or as you like. And this reduces the volume of the tube down to 1 ml. So you could use this tube down to 1 ml volume. Place that back in there. The carousel will operate up to 180 degrees for continuous use. For intermittent use, you can go up to 220 degrees. For cooling, let's show you what we do. Lift off the reflux head, place it on the stand, take away the heated base, and over here, we have a very clever cooling reservoir. This is made of HDPE with a foam inner for insulation. This has a convenient pouring handle and a spout. As you can see, this place is directly on top there. We use exactly the same principle of the magnet underneath stirring all 12 positions powerfully and evenly. But in this case, we wouldn't use heating. We would put acetone and dry ice, for example, which would operate down to minus 78, so you could perform cooled reactions. We take the head, we place it on top. We're now stirring. We take these off because you wouldn't be condensing or refluxing when you're cooling. Fill it with dry ice and acetone. To stop any splashing of any uh, acetone at cold temperatures, we have a very simple and convenient lid that we can place over the top. So, <clears throat> as you can see with the carousel, we have a truly versatile system that both allows cooling of 12 positions and also in an instant you can change the system and you can have heating. There is no other system in the world that offers such versatility at such an affordable price. And that's why the carousel has become the most popular low-cost parallel synthesizer in the world with over 7,000 units sold worldwide. Thanks very much.